Megan Hill from Maron. Welcome to Flawless Foundation. So my beautiful model Cindy is going to help me demonstrate how to use Maron Starblend Foundation. This is a highly pigmented powder foundation and it's got a lot of buzz recently in Allure Magazine for its use on the set of Black Swan. And I'm going to actually show you how to use two different colors to create a really basic and flawless finish. For somebody who doesn't need a lot of coverage, um, Cindy, we prepped her skin already with Velvet Finish Primer and Touch Up Anti Shine. So to get the look for Cindy today with the Star Blend Makeup, we're going to use Maron's Kabuki Brush. Because of its size and shape, it's going to offer really great coverage for us. It's more dense uh, goat hair. And so we're gonna be able to get a lot of product into our brush, and we're gonna be able to apply it in a circular motion and really work it into the skin. You can see just how beautiful the finish is. It's a really nice matte finish. So for those of you who, you know, maybe don't wanna mess with a two-step like foundation and then powder, uh, this is a one-step process. So it's just powder and go. And just really work it in. Now if you want to do a little bit of highlighting or contouring, I suggest getting a shade lighter and then a shade darker in the powder and the star blend. And we're going to use a smaller brush to kind of blend that maybe around the eyes on the lids. Go ahead and open for me. You can see what a beautiful finish that is. It's so natural. It's great also if you have oily skin and you want to just do a powder instead of a cream or liquid matte foundation as well. So a little extra tip for you if you want to use Starblend as a highlight, go in with a medium brush, just kind of pat it on one side, and I'll just do a little right here in the high cheekbone. Just press, press and blend. It's a nice way to just kind of create some dimension in the face. One of my favorite products at Marin is the Celebrate Pro HD. This foundation has been around for over 30 years, but until recently, it was redefined and fine-tuned for the everyday woman. Uh, it's high definition, and you know, this day and age, we live in a high-def world. We're constantly taking pictures of ourselves, putting it on Facebook, Twitter, all of that. We want to look good, and it doesn't get any more real and high-def than real-life face-to-face. And we want a flawless finish with our foundation, and Celebrate Pro HD absolutely gives us that. They really nailed it when it came to the colors. They utilized a team of professional makeup artists from all over the world who gave their two cents on what they need, what's lacking in the industry, what they're dying to have, what they use a lot of, all of that to go into the color formulation and, and the, the product, the ingredients. The Refined Celebrate Pro HD is packed full of skin soothing ingredients such as pomegranate, vitamin E oil, aloe vera, which gives a really hydrating finish. So now that we have Megan all color corrected and her skin prepped, we're going to work on concealing and making the skin tone all the same color. So I'm going to use my concealer wheel. I love this wheel because it has all the shades that you need. It's got every angle covered and it's also a great tool if you want something to pack in your purse, uh, to have for touch ups or to highlight and contour. So I'm going to use a couple different shades with the concealer wheel. I'm going to start with this color here. And just Use short stroke patterns, really pressing it into the skin. And you can see how easy it brightens after doing after using the color wheel. And it's easy to just kind of use your finger and work it in. It's highly blendable, which is one thing I like about it. Again, you know, it's not gonna look too heavy for when we put the Celebrate Pro HD over it. Don't want to forget about other little areas here. We are going to choose Megan's foundation and this is the easy part. So because of Megan's undertone, I'm going to use the Eurasia line, which this color we picked for her is Eurasia Japonais. And we can see, I like to test, have you turned here a little bit? I like to test usually 
on the collarbone or the chest because I like to see um, a true match there. So I got my trusty Maron stainless steel spatula that I love using. Scrape out a little bit of product. I like to put it on my hand, uh, especially when if I'm mixing a few colors or different products together. I always use my spatula. I always try to stay very sanitary, which I think is really important to do. Um, so I'm going to use brushes today. I'm going to start out just really working it into my my skin, and I like to start on my forehead and work my way down, and that way. I have a lot of room to blend on the face. I'm just using those, again, those short stroke patterns. I really blend the product. It's another great thing with the Celebrate Pro and all of the great ingredients is it blends so nicely into the skin. It's really easy. And there's so many different ways that you, you can blend it. I mean, you can use a sponge if you want a little more full coverage. You can use the smoothie. Um, you can use, you know, a foundation brush like I'm using, something that's synthetic that works great with creams, liquids. How's that feel, Megan? Feels really nice and soft. Does it, does it feel heavy on the skin? The makeup? Do you feel like you're wearing makeup? Nope. Okay. And I'm just gonna go around the eye area. Then look up. And now we can. We have a perfect, flawless face. Now that we have our skin all one color, we're gonna work on contouring and highlighting. And the great thing about this Celebrity Pro HD palette is you can just look at it and pick you know, two shades lighter, two shades darker for your contour and your highlight. I like to start um, here at the ear and into the hairline a little bit just so there's no um, sort of stop and start point. Just looks like a natural shadow. We're just going to kind of work it to the natural, the natural shadow would be on her face. And also down into right under, you know, the jawline. And I, I'm a big fan of, I always tend to, to do the whole perimeter of the face. I just think it looks more natural, kind of, there's no stopping starting point. And a little on the nose. And then we can go in with another brush and just kind of blend that. I'm going to use the light. And I'm going to use it really sheer. It's really light. But you can see how I'm really working it into my brush. And now we're going to go right on the high cheekbone. Again, kind of just blend up. We really don't want to stop in our starting point and then I'm just going to kind of work it in. It's really nice and soft. And you can use this also like on, on the lid, right under the brow, right above the brow. If you really want to have defined, defined shapes there. 